My name's Chris, Chris Watson. I run uh, Endor Learn and Develop. And for the last 16 years, uh, we've focused exclusively on behaviourally based learning and development. So, effectively, what we look at is not what people do, but the way that they go about it. In those 16 years, uh, we've picked up some uh, unexpected uh, insights in terms of developing people. Um, and, and, and sort of quite surprising ways uh, that seem to hold up. So as the session route, or what's in it for you, I think there's a number of real key deliverables. To, uh, really challenge conventional wisdom around being creative. Okay, and There's a lot of people who feel quite uncomfortable with this notion of creativity. And uh, I'm going to give you some proven tools and techniques to... Uh, walk away and be more creative in whatever it is that you do. If uh, you're into creativity, there is a bit of a myth here that what you need to do, you need to be completely relaxed to, to really engage with all that creative thought that's there. Yeah, to, to get your body relaxed, get your mind relaxed, yeah, calm, chill out. And then what will happen rather magically, yeah, all these new thoughts will enter your brain. It doesn't always work like that, though, in terms of creativity. Um, and we're going to uh, try to put you under a little bit of duress to try and demonstrate that. Okay? Just to sort of add a, a frisson of excitement as well, uh, there is going to be a prize for this. Okay? Uh, it isn't the Barbados holiday, but... <laughs> I, 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 and I'll explain why, I absolutely, 100% believe this is better than the Barbados holiday. And I, I, I actually do, do mean that as well. Uh, and so one lucky person is going to win something that I think is, is dynamite and that uh, will make a, a, a long-term difference to them in whatever their job is. So how's that for a sale? Um, but to get that fantastic prize, what you're going to do, you are going to be in a competition, a very short competition, I would imagine it's going to last about 90 seconds, maybe a couple of minutes, okay, it's worth engaging with and it's worth uh, yielding your mind and, 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 and putting as much effort into this as you can because one person is going to win that. Okay. So what have you got to do? In front of you, there is a handout sheet called Powerful Patterns. Okay, don't start it yet. So I want to uh, just highlight what you've got to do. What you have to do is pair things up. Pattern recognition is, is a real key aspect of creativity. So here, for example, once the, uh, the klaxon, the metaphorical klaxon goes off, what you've got to do is I've paired up a lion, and don't use this, that's not creative, uh, a lion and a shark, okay, and I've put them here, so I've crossed them out and I've written them in the pairings box, and my rationale in my mind, so you've got to have a rationale, is that they're both a bit scary. Does that make sense? So I can justify, that's why I've paired those up. And you might pair up other things, and as long as you've got a sensible rationale, yeah, doesn't, doesn't matter what that is, then you will populate until you get down to the final pair there. And that's all you've got to do. However, it's going to be a competitive situation. So when you have finished, the first person to finish, I want you to shout out with your name. Is that okay? Of course you can. Well, if there are 21, mm -hmm. you can't leave any out, so that's not even preparing. It's not well done. It's sort of a mathematician amongst us. <laughs> there is a little box, uh, I, I seem to remember, at the bottom for anything that wasn't, yeah. wasn't sort of uh, knowledge. But, okay. uh, yeah. So you might want to use that. So, on your marks, get set, go! But Heidi, um, tell, me, uh, tell me about you. You did amazingly well. How did you find that exercise? Um, interesting. I tried to think rationally, but outside of the box as well. Okay, okay. Interesting. And would you say um, you were more or less creative... Um, as this exercise went on? Um, probably more. Anyone 
else notice that sort of, um, that, that sort of effect? That actually, when you start struggling, you've only got a few left, that can be when you're at your most resourceful, rather than your least resourceful. We, we have about 60,000 thoughts every day. The challenge is, most of them are the same every day. It's lovely to think, oh, we have 60,000 thoughts a day, but most of them are the same 60,000 as we had the day before. Very often, what you need is agitation to actually push you to think slightly differently. And even time pressure. Time pressure, all the books will tell you on creativity, that actually you shouldn't put, pe you shouldn't put people in a competitive situation, you shouldn't put them under duress, and you shouldn't put them uh, in a situation where it's, you know, it's timed and they're, they're fighting against each other. That, yeah, that's the, all of those are the worst things you can do with creativity. That doesn't hold up. And similarly, so thank you, Heidi. What about this? Uh, a little bit of Shakespeare for you now. I'm throwing all sorts into this smorgasbord, aren't I? But um, uh, which is easiest to read? Quickly, what do you think? Top, top, one. top one. It is, isn't it? Nice, simple, clean <coughs> font. Yeah? And then we've got uh, I mean, brush uh, script. And then the advertising agency's pet hates Comic Sans. It's a, it's a, it's a monster, Comic Sans. It's a, it's a, a, a real horror. Um, but uh, So the first one would be the one that you'd do, if you like, if you were going to do handouts for people. Yeah? Or if you're going to give to young children uh, to help them learn something and then check the learning has taken place. Makes sense. Sometimes it's the thing about agitation and making things harder for people holds up in all different ways. There was a brilliant study, and it's so, so compelling, and it's been replicated many times. And what they did with school children, they changed all the handouts, the fonts on handouts for school children, to, uh, to fonts that are really difficult to read. And what they found was the children with the difficult to read fonts cons consistently did better and performed better and outperformed all the children where the work was easier to read. Sometimes making things harder for people is useful. You have to invest more, and by investing more and having to focus more, it actually leads to better retention rates. Now, there is a limit, there is a sort of ceiling on that effect. What I'm saying here is that sometimes agitation, you know, it gets bad press, but can be used very, very positively. So just to say uh, many thanks uh, for today. I do have, as you'd expect on something like this, um, some uh, glorious, lovely copies of, highly discounted following the uh, CMI's uh, support, uh, of Upskill. And uh, I've certainly enjoyed uh, spending an uh, hour and a half with you all. And thanks for your contributions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.